This is my SureFlow 110 to 12 volt SureFlow pump. This is a inverter. It can uh, accept 110 or 220. You get your power in and then 12 volt comes out, goes to the Inkbird temperature controller. You got temperature controller that your thermostat goes outside the box. Uh, power goes to the SureFlow, 12 volt. I uh, got reducer couplings on both sides. So I have my three quarter pipe, three quarter. Got my vacuum gauge on it. The strainer to keep ice out of it. From what I understand, it's best to keep it up. That way the water's not sitting in the cup. It always is just drained out. So you, if it freezes, it doesn't break. And I also put in a light. That is 110. So the way I'm doing this is I have my 110 for the pump. I have my 110 coming from the wall. Uh, into a tiny extender. And then at the end of that, I put the pump at direct plug. I have a, a frost control device for the light. It's on at 38 and off at 50. So that gets plugged in there. Drilled a hole in the side of it. Shut the lid. Everything's contained. You got your thermostat outside the box and your extension cord. To hook up to the pump, I just put in these connectors that just slip together. Made the hot side male, ground female. That way, if you need to, you can just take the pump out without cutting any wires. Or if you need to test something, like right now, I just plugged it in. So this has got power to it, putting out 12 volt to the Inkbird. Current temperature 65. It's definitely warmer than that in here, but we'll see. Uh, oh, it keeps going down. <laughs> but, uh, that will put out power to the pump because it's not the temperature that it's supposed to be. Got my wires wired up out of the way. So all I have to do to get things to run. Oh, I put a 10 amp fuse on it like they called for. Pretty sure it was the pump that called for it. Outside the box. I chose to put a garden hose connector on my exit. I just have a short garden hose that runs to that. And then on this side, I have a junction that I can run my pipe from the line into this. And then I just connect it. And then if I have to disconnect it, I can just unscrew it and there's no big fight. All right, so I got the ink bird shut off. Got my wires reconnected. All I gotta do is turn it on. And the ink bird holds the information that it has in it even after you shut the power off to it. So the fact that that holds memory and you're not constantly resetting it every time you're doing your power, I find that extremely convenient.
Alrighty guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about it, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you. If you want to see more maple syrup stuff or other random videos that I make, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.